I haven't made a video for a while. I've been busy. I do other stuff, and then last week, uh, crap hit the fan. We had a <clears throat> tornado, hurricane winds come through Iowa. And it stretches for who knows how far. But, so over the last week, I've been cleaning up a, a little tour. Um, we got two to three fires burning every day, burning trees. Um, barn the goats used to live in is on a pile. Uh, grain bins are ruined. Luckily, the machine shed and our equipment is fine. Uh, a lot of friends and family have helped out. <clears throat> a water wagon to water cows. Uh, generators have been running, ran for five days before we had power. Again, um, between that and cattle getting out because buildings have blown down. <clears throat> And it's the same way up the road at our farm we rent, uh, where the cows were. Uh, that bottle calf shed used to be way over there. And it cleared that fence, short of the uh, back tarp. This barn is untouched. Go figure. Uh, had some baby calf sheds out there, they're all in a pile and we didn't know where half the crap is. This is the other end of the barn. The trailer is unscathed other than it moved three feet off its blocks that the jack was sitting on. Um, as you can see, it's just a, a mess. Um, Bullpens, and bullpen. You see, it's riddled with steel. There's steel everywhere. And then we get down to here. We lost two thirds of that barn, and actually, uh, that whole barn is totaled because the rest of it is all bent and twisted and actually ripped off on the inside. There was steel flung out from here to a quarter mile away. Lost a couple goats uh, from it. Uh, our house is fine so that's I guess the good thing. Um, and we were all fine. It's just been very, very hard to deal with. So there's a section of a shed out there. And <clears throat> Even though I rent everything, it's I've been here for 23 some odd years. And it's just hard to, hard to comprehend. And, stuff uh, up the road looks the same way um, we've got arrangements for moving cattle cattle to another farm uh, next week or later this week this all depends on what what happens but we'll carry on uh, this is the first damage major damage we've ever had so, I guess we consider ourselves lucky with that tin that's blown up against that wall. It's so I don't know where that even, even came from. Because we didn't have any galvanized steel like that. Um, but we did have the goats in this barn. Uh, I was weaning, weaning my... Uh, the baby kids, so I had them just shut in that way. Mamas weren't coming to look for them. We had chainsaw half of them out. 
to get in in there. Goats are all back out on grazing weeds again now. So it's that, but there's extensive cleanup to do even eventually and just ongoing. But so I spent basically every day doing something to clean up and we had several trees down in the house yard. But we're get we're getting her done. It'll get done eventually, but yeah. Freaking mess, uh corn around here is gooseneck snapped and uh, about a month ago we had high winds that kinda goose deck and snapped it to start with. So this time around it's really down, so now it's all tangled up mess. Soybeans look fine. Um, so who knows what harvest is going to bring, but... Um, so yeah, we're moving... Got to send the cows to a different location, and then... Um, I've got a new chapter starting in my life. Uh... Still involved in cows, but we're, we're switching focus, and I'll stay tuned for that. But it's kind of an opportunity came up, and, and it's kind of maybe a blessing in disguise. Um, but we'll keep you posted on that. <clears throat> yeah, like our wind wind breaks are all snapped in half. Uh, this is like a wide, from South Dakota all the way through Iowa into parts of Wisconsin and and all the way down south that was a huge <clears throat> path. There's, say it's hard mile an hour plus hurricane type winds. Um, so, but we all survived, so I guess we're just kind of lessened. But, uh, just thought I'd update everybody. That's where I've been. Uh, the chickens and ducks are all, all good. So, they survived it. Um, and luckily, uh, we shipped cattle, like, uh, four days before. This all happened because otherwise they'd been buried in those places. So, so we're we're sitting empty here at home uh, now. I've got cows on a couple farms that, uh, other than pulling fences off, they're pulling I like, steel off of fences. Uh, everything's been fine, other than one group of cows did. Uh, come up the road uh, <clears throat> we're walking home that night because of the fences were blown over but they're all back and confined and stuff so anyway Turbo is kind of tired of this nonsense but now he can climb on top of the barn he likes to go up on top and just be an idiot but so anyway thanks for watching questions comments, all the fun YouTube stuff as always and uh, we'll keep you posted as time goes on Thanks again for watching.